Hello everyone, hello. Okay, how's it going? It's 2022. Are you guys doing well, right? How's, how's your 2022 so far? Write it in the comments. Okay, so today we have our Bob Ross Liquid White. It's all over, about the same thickness. There's not a lot right there. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Always something with a live, right babe? Yep. There we go. All about the same thickness all over the place. And then since we've been doing all these cold wintry scenes, we're gonna do another cold wintry scene, but like a southern Utah, kind of eastern Nevada cold wintry desert scene, okay? So of course we're gonna do a crazy sky and all sorts of stuff, but I'll show you what we have. The Van Dyke, uh, sorry, the Dark Sienna, which is the lighter color of the browns. Hey, Tonya's it. Morning, morning. The Sap Green, the Thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Midnight Black, Titanium White, Cad Yellow, and uh, Yellow Ochre. Now, let's see. Before we just look a slob all over the place, let's wipe <laughs> this up. It's all drippy and nasty. Dribbling. Dribbly, it's dribbling. <laughs> It's like me in the middle of the night. <laughs> More like someone else we know, but I won't know. Hey, you shut up. It's London who dribbles in the Hush night. You. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Everyone, if you can hear another voice on the video, but you can't see another person, that is London. She's my wife. She's responding to all the comments, reading them aloud. So if you ask me a question, she'll be able to respond with an answer. Well, she'll read me your question and I'll respond with an answer. Yeah, not me. I don't answer any questions around here. But we think it makes it go for an easier live broadcast versus me kind of looking at the camera and then doing something and then having to take a break and that's who wants to watch that however that's like tiktok videos where they just sit and look at the camera oh yeah hey hey tony and they just wait and they wait and they wait and it's horrible all right i've mixed up a little bit of our purple our blue crimson and blue and black here right into this little pile and then we're gonna kind of really make this dark stormy sky. So we're gonna take a little bit of our phthalo blue. We have to leave room for our clouds. So kind of picture where you want your clouds to be and then leave a kind of lighter area or not so thick with paint. And you know, we'll show you how. Let's pull it in from the side. Babe, Facebook is just... Is it being lame? Shite. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get a little bit of our black, a little bit of the blue with this one here. And we'll come in from this side change it up with this different color and as we pull it in you can see it starts to go from dark to light because we have that liquid white on the canvas and it's oh that's nice a little bit darker it's kind of darker grayish color right we'll leave these little cloudy areas in there that we can kind of mix together it doesn't all have to be the same color of sky right we're always saying that aren't we babe yes babe a little bit of blue, a little bit more blue over here. And just kind of leave them, right? We're gonna blend it out with a big old brush anyway. And I really wanna get some of that dark underneath back here. The kind of sky I'm thinking of is this dark, stormy, far away bit that's real low on the horizon. And then we got this kind of dramatic cloud filled area above, right? Just very lightly kind of chuck some stuff on there. It doesn't need to be Anything crazy, right? Finish the edges, because we always finish the edges. And after this video, we'll be showing you how to do this video, an upside down smiley face, right, babe? Yes, babe. <laughs> That's the level zero. There we go, blend it, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Let's grab a, grab a, glab. Grab a clean dry brush, right? How's everyone's 2022? Has anyone written any comments? Annette Babcock's here. Annette, how's it going? There we go. We're just crisscrossing over this stuff, just making it soft and far away. Look at that. We got like little holes that poke through our clouds and you can see some of the sky behind. It doesn't all have to be the same and it can happen randomly just how we did it, right? I haven't done anything differently. You see what I've done and if you do what I do, it should look very close to being the same. Let's just get all the rest of the color off of the brush just by wiping it across our liquid white down here. And that kind of ensures we have a nice soft area that we can play with down here. Do the edges just in case there's any bits that got missed. Bam, bam, bam. And now we're all set. Okay, thanks for tuning in and uh, you guys have a good day. We'll see you later. No? Can you pull the screen down a little bit on, this, on the right so I can see the YouTube camera? Thank you very much, my love. Uh, 
All right, now, I was thinking about chucking in that big cloud that we saw the other day in the morning. Remember that thing? It was like this giant... Were you with me? Maybe you were in the other car. I can't remember. What, what are you talking about? I was driving to work the other day, and I saw this wicked awesome cloud. That, I'm like, never, I'm never big, in but the you, car with you. No, you but you were, you were next to me. Remember we pulled up at the light because you were going to get coffee? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. And there was that big bank of cloud, and it was awesome. Yeah, no, I, I look at the road. Oh, well, I look at clouds. <laughs> I look at clouds and stuff and trees when I drive. Am I, am I the only one that does that? Or do you ever, do you ever look at a tree and go, man, what would, it, what color would I use as a background, or how could I highlight that and make it look like that tree? Or am I the only one that does that? Yeah, I'm sure other painters do that. I do that with vessels and glasses and. I must cups be the only one. I can pour wax in. There we go. That's what I do. I just see a candle in everything I look at. <laughs> That's true. There we go. All right, we're gonna make this wicked cloud that kind of goes across the whole thing, all with this dark blue-black mixture, right? Just nasty. Right? Kind of wraps around, does all sorts of stuff because it can do whatever it wants to do, right? It doesn't all have to be the same. Let's make like this little, there we go. Just smushing it on, just literally mushing it, right? I, babe, like Bill Alexander used to do. Ah. Are we mushing or are we smushing? I we're smashing. Oh. We're smizz mush mashling. Okay, we're going to take our one-inch brush. And we're going to go like this. Little circles, little Ta circles. Tanya says she looks at clouds. Oh, so good. I'm not the only one then. But, uh, Annette only does it when her husband's driving, see? That's why I don't Oh, yeah, no, I'm doing it while driving. No, I like to, I like to watch. There we go. The more and more we mix it, the more it's going to kind of turn into the same color that the sky is. So be careful. Be careful. You don't want to mix it up too much. You want to have these little differences and stuff. John Grasniak is here. JK, what's happening? Best initials ever. <laughs> JK. Oh, we should talk about my, my sweet necklace and your sweet necklace. And what, what, which sweet fan sent us these necklaces? Right. I've never received anything before. Well, no, it's not true. Kay Campbell sent us a Christmas gift. That is true. So, but we got these very cool, and I'm not very religious, but these are nice, you know, necklaces. It's very sweet. They're beautiful so, necklaces. Thank you, Tanya, for sending those. I felt like a like a soup like a YouTube superstar getting. Oh, you're a YouTube sensation. Yeah, a YouTube Josh. sensation, getting a, a necklace from a fan. It was really cool. So thank you for that. All right, let's take a little bit of our white. Maybe and you know what? Let's do it with a different... Maybe we should get a P.O. box, babe. Yeah, right. Let's do it with a fan brush. A lot of people are kind of afraid of the knife. So I tend to, you know, I force myself how to use, to, to learn how to use the knife. So you kind of got to do that, but we'll do it with a different technique today, right? Let's just smush some, and not very hard, right? We're getting up a lot of white and kind of dropping it on there so it's very thick. And then we have a lot of place where we can kind of brighten it up by, by, Mixing it, right? Just kind of adding a little bit of our highlights right here. We'll see what it looks like. Just in a random place. And then the more and more that we kind of mix our little circles in there, the more it'll change the look of our cloud. All right, we'll get these little highlight areas. Maybe a little bit of lights popping in over here. We can swipe that up with our two inch brush over to the side. Bam, we get these cool little bits, right? Something a little, a little bit different. Now, I don't like using the fan brush. You can use it. I like using it on a black canvas. Did you guys see the new tutorial coming out? Can anyone see this in the thing? Oh, they can. Oh, the little igloo. Isn't it so cute, guys? It's a little igloo. Little igloo. That's the first painting I did in 2022 just for you guys. And look, see the difference how we can lay more in a more random pattern with the knife? And then you can come back in and kind of see what that looks like when you mix it up. Right? You can just mess around until you like the way that it looks. Maybe there's not a lot of light down here, right? So we can blend all that away until that darkness goes away and we keep it, or until the light goes away and we keep it dark down there. All right? You come back up with the knife. Maybe there's a little bit on the edge of this guy. Just nice and thick and chunky because with this white, it really wants to blend away fast. As soon as you start to touch it, it's going to try to go away. So... You can't put, you know, too much on there. It'll be real super thick, but when you start to mix it, you don't want to overmix. Tanya says the igloo looks awesome. Yes, the igloo is so cute. Look at this. And I used a cool little technique on how to make it. 
And let me tell you, if you have one of these, if you guys have a Bob Ross, a little mini Bob Ross who talks, listen. Yeah, good place for a little squirrel to live, right? If you have this, it's really gonna help you when you go to do that. Because I use the bottom of him to make the shape of the opening, okay? And then you're gonna need a red plastic cup to make the actual igloo. But it's really cool, I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Mm. All right, let's put a little bit of... Um... Annette, Annette says, uh, is the igloo tutorial out already or is it coming out soon? No, it's coming out on Wednesday. So four, three days from now, four if you include today, because it's sort of the morning where I am anyway. All right, let's take up a little bit. We're going to mix up a different color, a little bit more purple, All right? And this will be a nice little change and difference in color in these clouds. And just, again, kind of smashing it on, seeing what it looks like. It may not even be purpley enough. No, it's purpley enough. You just want it to be different. That's all, because 2022 is about differences in color, guys. Okay? You gotta have differences in color in your paintings, in your life, in your friends, right? In everywhere. <clears throat> Put a little bit more white, chuck it down over here. We got no comments, huh? Sorry. No shush to the missus? No. Someone else came with a shush to the missus. Man. A little bit more white. Just chuck it on. Literally. All we're doing is just making a mess. Especially when we make a, a, a sky. We're just making a mess. That's all we're really doing. Making a jumbled mess of cloud and hey. vapor and spun up stuff. Hey. Yeah. John Krasniak just said probably the most genius thing I've ever heard. What? Which is your painting right now looks like the start of a tornado. Does it? Yeah. Where? Where would I drop a tornado, though? Right in the middle. If you look from where we're all looking from, this looks like the eye of your tornado. What, right here? Yeah. You've just got, like, the tiniest dark line right here. Yeah, I know. That's the that's the right, uh, it, beam behind the it canvas. It looks like the eye of a tornado. This is almost too... <sighs> See, I have the ability to look back into the camera that we have over here on our big TV and... Uh, and see what you guys can see versus what I can see, which is a different angle, right? Which some of the times your stuff will start going at an angle. Or, I, you know, I have all these lights. I got the glare. It's hard to, uh, I say all these lights. It's one light. <laughs> Drop a little bit of that purple down in here. Just pulling in from the side. That way we don't leave like a big thing And when we go to do that. And then it may be hard to get out depending on how much paint you have, right? Bam, bam. <clears throat> I don't know. It's I don't see the tornado. Okay. I don't. No. It's. I mean, it, it would totally change. It would, yeah, it would go off plan of what I was going to do. I know. Right? This Which is, isn't always a bad thing. This is what happens, babe. True. I always say. This, you, okay, look. Let's, right. But you look at me and you go, "Oh no, I can't see that." And then you watch the replay. Yeah, and, and then you I go, totally I see exactly what you're talking right. about. So maybe just take a couple of steps back. Look where I'm looking and you'll see exactly the eye of the tornado. You've even got the depth of like the circle right in the middle of the canvas. Like right there. Yeah. So it's going to come down, right? Like. Right. And start ripping stuff up from the bottom. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. That sky is just. Yeah, it's got to, I mean, when you're, when you're doing a tornado, you got to have a dark it's sky. It's beautiful, but it's miserable. <laughs> yeah. But with a dark, with a tornado, especially if it's like moving, this side is moving towards a clearer sky over there, that's going to look really nice. Let's just add a couple little darker bits inside of our cloud. You see, I can change it. Again, they don't all have to be the same, but I'm taking the purple mixture we made between the blue and crimson versus the blue and black that was around the side. So we'll get these different bits of color. Okay, that's going to be where our tornado drops out of. Right? Yeah. It's gonna be like, shoom, like that sort yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. Super dope. I mean, we can make it gigantic. It could be like a. It could be like a, a, a F five mess. No more. No more messing around, right? No more messing around, babe. Let's do level one painting over here. Okay. Do our eyes. This guy's got a frowny face. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, I like that it's clearer over here and darker over here. So. Hello, Kay Campbell. How are you? <clears throat> if that. Whoop, break time. Break time. Must be 10.15. Ah, oh, that's why I was confused. It's not your phone that has an alarm. It's your watch that has an alarm. Yeah. Okay, I really want to make it like sort of dark way off in the distance, right? If our, if our tornado, actually it doesn't look bright coming out from that high. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to adjust. It's gotta come out from back here and be further away. So we can put a little darker line. I've never painted a tornado before guys, ever. But I've seen Twister like a thousand times. <laughs> so if we were gonna do it, right? It'd have to be off in the distance back there. And then we could like, make the shape and shadow it and make it all kind of crazy, but it's got to be further away, right? And this have to be darker, bit of cloud above it, like the storm is going to drop out. See how we can just make, you just make all sorts of nonsense, just a mess and it ends up looking better, right? Just by kind of scribbling. It's all we're really doing is writing in cursive, really. <laughs> we're writing a, a, we're writing Klingon in cursive. Made up language. There we go. Klingon is not a made-up language. It is so a made-up language. No, it's not. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, let's do that. I love how it, it's like furthest away, pops out at the bottom of that cloud. But we really need a, a like a dark line back here to really cement in the bottom of our cloud. See that? You don't want to have it the same, so let's make it a couple little little higher bits, little lower bits. Look at that, just by adding in a little of those dark lines. That's a good idea, babe. See, you get these far off bits of cloud. Just kind of blend it down. We can even go over this guy, he's fine. We know where he's gonna be. We know where he's gonna be. We just don't wanna have too much on there. That looks really neat. It'd be cool as well if there was a bit of shadow. Where is he? See, it's hard for me to see, guys. It's not a joke. It is not a joke. Get back in there. Right? Yeah, look at that. All you gotta do is mess around. I love how this is like whoosh. It's almost like it's being sucked down. Babe, you got an eye. Let me tell you. But like the one in the tornado. Ah, that eye? I don't know. See, even Tanya Very says neat. that looks neat. Well, thank it wasn't you. my idea, by the way, it was John Grassnick's idea. JK, over in PA. Okay. <laughs> I don't even need to look at the camera. I'll just look at the TV and paint. At the same time. It's not the same. It's almost like a delay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, when's the last time I looked at the camera? Hi, folks. How you doing today? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, I like your idea, honey. Do Little say... far off thing. Okay, so let's take... Let's wash some brushes. Before we do anything else, let's wash some brushes. And let's talk about our links, John. You can buy all the stuff that I use at my Amazon affiliate link, which means I make a few pennies if you purchase through that link. And it's amazon.com slash shop slash happy landscape art, even though this was like an angry landscape. Happy landscape art, okay? And you can always go to paintwithjosh.com. I'm always changing it up. It looks different than it did two days ago. <clears throat> So check out paintwithjosh.com. You can buy all of my stuff and my canvas prints and phone cases and all that stuff. And the more you guys support me, the more canvases I can buy and keep bringing you free videos. Let's see. The less you support, the less videos. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of camp. Look at that, that is so cool. And now that we can see that there's like this, like this, it's like a, it's like a wave almost. Right, again, come back in, mix it up a bit, shape it how we want it to look. Looks really cool. Kind of making these C shapes, like pulling it down. It looks really neat. Looks really neat. Now it needs a little bit of shadowing. Though. Clive Gibson says, missed stop, but it's looking good. What color yeah. is at the bottom of the canvas? Uh, this is, it's just liquid white, and I, I took my brush and kind of wiped it over to clean the brush off a little bit. So whatever color came from up here, these are the colors that we have. Uh, dark Sienna, Sap Green, Thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Lizard and Crimson, Midnight Black, Titanium White, Cad Yellow, and Yellow Ochre. And we've really only used these three, the, the Blue, Crimson, and, uh, and Black, and White, really. So 
so far. But yeah, and then London came up with this tornado idea, and so now we we're gonna do we were gonna do a desert scene, and then we changed it. No desert scene. We changed it to this tornado scene that's gonna pop out down here. Mass back. destruction. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool, and I really like how the clouds are coming out in this one. But you see what I mean? It was all that one white, and now we have differences in color. All these little differences are different shades of white, different shades of gray, dark purple, all sorts of stuff. There was no paint on that knife. There we go. I'm gonna put some flat tops to those clouds, see how that makes it look. Pull them out like they're being whoosh, pushed away. Don't want to have them be too bright though. I want to keep it nice and dark. Kind of mix them up until you like the way they look. See, just those little differences right there are what's going to make it look amazing. Come over to the side. As long as we don't have these big, thick, giant chunks, it's not going to move the paint all over the place, right? It's almost like we have this beautiful light area up here. All right. All right, babe, let's, we need to make up like some ground, I guess. Make up a little bit of ground. I'm, you know, I'm thinking like cornfield off in the distance with like a barn. That sounds good. Somewhere. Maybe the barn's closer up over here and the tornado's coming at the barn, but we got to have some green back there, right? That's my thought anyway. So a little bit of the purple, a little bit of the green, a little bit of the yellow ochre. And we're going to make like this kind of Dark, foresty, greenish, brownish, weird could, thing. You could still do a desert. True. Could. I haven't seen a tornado in the desert. We get dust. We get little dust busters and stuff, but that's not a tornado. You could drive through a dust buster and it just kind of shakes the car a little bit. <coughs> All right, we're gonna take in, put our land right back underneath where where we still have that little bit of like lighter color back there. And then we can come back with our little tornado far off in the distance. Okay, we're just kind of tapping these in. So we have these kind of straight lines. Taking the color, just kind of tapping it down. So it changes in hue, right? Maybe this is a little hill and the tornado is over the top of the hill. However we see it in our mind, right? You can even take these. Those could be far away trees on the top. You never even know, right? Just swipe them over until we have this little difference. It does kind of look deserty back there, but the thing's gonna have to come down right, right on the top to make it. You know, if you bring it down too far, that means that the clouds have moved up, and in this one, they look like they're much farther away. There we go. That's our little shadow, anyway. What's up? John Krasniak says, this is going to be a dope paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, John. All right, let's chuck in just a little bit of... Hey, babe, you know what I did this morning? What? I extended the 50% sale in my candle store until Friday. Oh. You just want to bring it down just a little. You can always fix where it's going or make those much further away. If we did one little thing... We could bring this in, All right? Just this one little extra line is gonna add so much depth and distance to that last peak back, whoop. Let's get a clean brush. There we go. <laughs> See what I mean? Now we just added another layer of depth back there. Another layer of depth. A little bit darker. See, we can swipe at this and change its height. Don't worry. All right, I think we need to be a little bit more on the green side, though. So let's get a little bit of our green, tap it down into our brush. And maybe that side's further away, but this side we're going to start to see some details in our grass, right? Just by coming down at different heights, different levels. And then when we go back over them and soften it, you get these little different bits of grass. See how they're starting to grow? See how they grow? There we go. And again, we haven't gone back. Flip the brush over. Oh, there's a whole big chunk of like crimson or brown or something on my brand new brush. 
Look, look at that handle, it's so white. So white and clean. There we go. And again, we're just tapping and whatever comes off, comes off. And it's gonna get lighter and lighter and lighter as it gets towards us, right? It's, it's darkest where we first put it on. And then as we go away, we're mixing in with the liquid white and it's kind of changing color all on its own. What is on my brush? Paint. Yeah, I know, but it shouldn't be there. <laughs> Not that color. If you guys don't know how I wash the brushes, I've got a, an old beater bucket in here with a golf ball basket down the bottom that I found in my garage. Didn't even really go out to buy anything. I'm so cheap. There we go. It's not being cheap if you already have something that does the same thing. True, I'm frugal. Okay. No, I don't even think that's frugality. Oh, man, look either. at that. Just without even messing with that tornado, that looks really cool. But it has to have... I, I like those little differences in color. Yeah, right? No, really oh, down different. here? Yeah. Yeah, these are gonna be our, uh, our, um, something, our dirt, our path, something. Okay, let's take a little bit of that. Sorry, a little bit, I do it out of frame and then I get mad at myself. A little bit of the green, a little bit of the brown. And let's kind of create a little dust cloud around the bottom of this guy, right? It's always chewing up something. Eating, it's feeding. Don't want to make it too big though. And not too brightly noticeable. Bam, just so there's a difference in color back there, right? Does that look okay, babe? Yeah, that's good. You can see how we've left. It's gone kind of from the very darkest line, get lighter and lighter, and then poof, we get this green line, and that gets lighter and lighter. See what I mean, guys? See what I mean, jelly beans? You can even make it darker in some spots. And just change it, change it up. We have these little rolling hills coming towards us with this tornado off in the background. It looks wicked. You could even put like a road Right? We could do a road through there. How would we put a road? What do you guys want? Since this is your painting anyway, right? I wanted to do something different. Well, what do the fans allow want? Allow the people to speak, sir. Yeah, what do the fans want? I'm gonna put like a big red barn over here. I Why think. It wouldn't be alive if there was a tornado that close to it. There it could be. Could You could just do shards of wood being sucked up into the true i could do just a fence right here like we were going to do initially in the first before i changed my idea you know what i mean it's really neat though but you can see just these little bits of light underneath right i left those there purposely guys because it's not it doesn't have to be the same right differences in color differences and remember what brush you're using and what has the dark color and the green on it okay I really like that. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. Should we make the... Does it need to be darker around the top, though? To kind of make itself look right? Yes? No? Anyone? Babe, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm marketing for my own business. Right. Because, you know, you seem to have it down pat. Well, it's only taken me three years. Right. Well, I would like it to work in four weeks, please. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall order. I know, right? It took me like three months just to get my first sale. There we go. Put a little bit of curve in him. Can't all be just the same, right? No. Does everyone like that, or should I get rid of this little thing? Does it need to be bigger? Is anyone listening? Yeah, Tonya <laughs> said barn and fence would look good. Yeah, right? That's my thought. It can be like a snapshot, not a working tornado. Well, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it, you know, it, everything is a snapshot of a moving, moving life, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to say our, our background is finished then. Let's put a little bit darker colors back here, right? So we can tell it's further away than right on top of us. And as we get closer, in my mind, everything's going to get darker. Right? And brighter at the same time, if that makes any sense. You guys are like, you're such a good teacher. I'm like, I don't even understand the own stuff I say. <laughs> I don't understand myself. Tanya says it looks great. It's going to get brighter and darker as it makes, as it comes forward. Did that mean, do I even make sense? 
No, but I think everybody knows what you mean, which is even worse. Yeah, right. Okay. Ooh, we could do like a road, just like in the. F yes, that's what we're doing. We're putting this. We're putting the street down here, right? Like we stopped, turned to the window, took a shot out the side. We could put power poles in here along the road, dude. That's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this, guys. Okay, we're gonna. It's like we're driving, because everyone does that. You, or I, I mean, you know, I don't do it while I'm driving. I definitely don't hold the wheel and stick my phone out the window and, you know, or over the, the passenger window to take a photo. I've never done that. Never, never, never. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of brown in here too. Let's get a little bit of our brown, mix it in with that kind of yellowy color, right? Bam, 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 just to change it up like we have a little bit of dirt off the side of the road. Let's see what it looks like. Again, we're just, this is not what it's gonna be. We gotta flatten it out. Give us these little bits, like a little dirt bit off the side of the road, right? And then we're gonna come in with our black and blue, and you wanna fair them out on the brush. All right, scrape up that blue, bring it over here. Black and blue, if you mix it correctly, make a perfect street color. Just like that. A little bit of dirt off the side of our road right here. Bam, 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 bam. A little bit darker, actually. My black ran out and it was just the blue over here and it's not the same. There we go. Julie Poof. says, Julie says, want to try a flying cow. A flying cow. That would be very cool. That would be, but this one's so far away. You yeah, wouldn't maybe. really see. It would just be a flying calf. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let's dear. do. I'm so funny. You are hilarious. Why would anybody want me to be quiet? I know, you're so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Allison says, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? <laughs> what, doing this one? Making tornado paintings. Oh, this is going to be hard. We have to kind of put that white line in and make it straight enough which is gonna be difficult. So don't worry, because we're gonna come back with our, our filbert brush, our little eraser, and I'll show you how to keep doing it, right? You just wanna be straight on the top. Be straight on the top. Anything that happens below doesn't matter. And it doesn't have to be so super perfect. All right, just with our liquid white. This is a long canvas, man. Bam, 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 bam. You guys see how I'm dragging my hand across, kind of resting it on my own hand, touching the easel here, and then just moving my left hand with my right hand sitting on top of it, and that way it stays relatively straight. Kind of a cool thing. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. There we go. <laughs> bing, bong, bing. And poof, okay. <clears throat> Now, we want to do this very lightly, same kind of technique all the way across, but just very lightly kind of flatten it down, right? Very lightly. So we still have that little bit of line. Finish it off on that side. John Krasniak says tumbleweeds and or hay bales That would be cool. That would be cool. Let's take our filbert brush, okay? And paint it Nice dry. As long as it's dry, you can cut away, and it's like an eraser. You can pull away anything that you don't want to be there, just by going over it. And we get pretty much a straight line back there. I wonder if we could do it from above. All right, you gotta do it as however you can do it sometimes. Bam. It looks better. This side we got to get a little closer on the top and the bottom because it's not a you know a real thick line. Not a real thick line. I like it though. It looks good. Man, that sky though. Let me tell you with that sky. What time is it? Ten thirty-four. Yeah. All right. A little bit of black, a little bit of crimson, a little bit of blue. Mix it in with that other purple that we had. Scrape it all up. 
mash it down, scrape it up again, pull it out, scrape it up, pull it out. Now let's make our big old barn, right? And we can change the, the lay of the land very easily. So we put them on this side or on this side? That's the question. Let's put them off here, right? We'll do like a, how does a barn sit to Josh? Let's do, okay, we're gonna come down like this and then it's got that little bit and then the bottom. So I'm gonna come down little bit bottom, right? Sort of, bam, bam. It's gonna go down. Yeah, sort of. All right, now that we've sort of figured out our shape, just kind of dropping in a little bit of color on top of our our shape here, just so we can see what it's gonna look like. Need more color than that, Joshy. There we go. All right. All I'm doing is just taking crimson here Right, mixing it in with that black that we just put down for this side so it's a darker color of red. And here we go. Since we didn't get the red out, and then we'll put it in over here where I haven't put so much paint, and then we'll have a brighter color. We can even add some yellow to that. Right, just so it's just a different color, a different shade, mix it in. Poof, poof. Oh, almost got out of our shape there. There we go. Got our nice little dark bit of barn going on, right, babe? Mm -hmm. It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Pulling it down. Just pulling it down just so lightly, just so we can, just so it can be soft. Right, pull that out back here. Start at the back corner, work your way forward. Then start at this back corner, work your way out. And then we'll have a cute little bit of barn back here. Looks kind of neat. <clears throat> Looks kind of neat. Put our little roof in just by smooshing it down with a knife. <coughs> there we go. And to fix our roof back there. Bam. Just like that, guys. Pretty simple. Pretty simply little thing. There we go. All right, we're gonna have to wash these brushes again. Okay, now we got this. Pull it out. And now we have a far away barn, especially when our, our, our fence along the side is gonna be almost as tall as the barn. We're gonna know it's gonna be a small building or it's gonna be pushed away. Let's see, scrape up a little bit, right in the center, got our barn doors, just like that. Pull out a little bit of black, we can shape it. We could stick a steeple on top of this thing, it'd be a church. There we go. And again, we can change the lay of the land. We can put another hill in front of all this other stuff just by adding a little house to it. There we go. All right, that looks amazing. Let's get, it's almost like it's missing its roof over here. There we go. Little bit. There we go. I like it. It's like an old little beat up building. It's about to be anyway. So no one's talking, babe, huh? Sorry. Not a person is saying a word. Tony Vickers says, I like the barn. Oh, thank you. That's it. No one else is oh, talking. No one's talking. It's okay. Get a little bit of white, kind of outline our... They are mesmerized by your painting. Our doors. I doubt that. I don't. Here we go. Just kind of outline of the door, just a little bit. Doesn't have to be so super white. You don't have to have too much paint. That's why we use the knife. Just get this little line of paint. It's not too much. Not too much. Oh, I like it. 
Oh, I like it a lot. There we go. Let's take a little bit of that dark, kind of make a little pathway out of the out of the thing for him. That looks really cool. Let's put another little window in though. Right, maybe it's not a barn, maybe it's someone's house. Put the kitchen window in back here, because I love that window. This is why we don't do just straight dark in the back, right? So it's got to be dark, so it's got to be the red mixed with the black, but then we can still add little details and stuff. Roberta Harris is here. Roberta. Let's do a little crow's nest at the top. There we go. Just a little bit. A little something to do. Put like a little ledge underneath this guy. Why not? Because why not? Just the lightest amount of white, just so you can see it, okay? And then we can take, kind of scrape down, create our little boards inside of our building. So when someone's looking real close, they're gonna see all these boards that we made, and they're gonna look amazing. Yes, Roberta, it is a tornado. Yeah, it's a far away tornado. We weren't planning on painting a tornado. There's no tornado in sight. But that's what happened. There we go. It needs to get like it's more ripped up at the bottom there. Like it's coming over the hill. It's getting angry. Hmm. It's coming for our little family over here. Against the, along the edge of our road, right? That's cool. I like it. All right, what are we going to do? We need to have like a power pole or two, right? Coming across. That would be neat. Or we could do one and then do the other one like falling over, laying yeah. on the on the ground. All right, so if I was gonna paint a power pole, how would I do that? It's gonna have to be, <laughs> the angle is getting it right, right? To make it look 3D, a rounded pole. And it's gotta have, so they'd be like that sort of? Don't know, guys. I don't know. All right, let's figure something else out. While we think about that, we can figure something else. Get a little bit of yellow ochre into this kind of greenish brownish pile because we want to change the color of the of the grass around the house, right? Maybe it's much more brownish, yellowish. And so we have these little differences. Different things are going on. Differences in color. There we go. Change it, put a little bit of more yellow there. Let's get a little, a little bit of yellow ochre. We can put the yellow ochre and give it like a little bright spot over here. Maybe there's a couple little flowers blooming or something. Something's happening along the side of our, our road that's about to be taken out. Go. Just trying to fill this in very lightly. I don't want to lose all the lighter color in there. I'm just trying to fill it in. Fill it in until it looks right. Right, which means some of the times more tapping than you think to get rid of some of those. There we go. Let's take it up that way, Josh. Why not? Right, you, some of the times I don't like having bits where you can really see where I put the brush. So you got to go over them a few more times. A few more times until they're, you know, perspectively right. So you can take it. We can go out this way. We can bring another thing in from that side. Do like a darker bit of green on the same brush, All right? Bring it in back here. So these two hills kind of meet in the middle. We are really making it up today, babe. I don't know why we say we make it up, you know, as we go along, but today we are really making it up. Might look cool. What kind of trees are out in the Midwest? That's. <laughs> Somebody who lives in the Midwest, let me know what kind of trees are out there. Roberta Harris. Do they have pine trees? Roberta Harris is here, and I guess where she is in Kentucky, a tornado hit there yesterday. Oh, no. I hope she's okay. Let's do like a... Yeah. Let me go like that. There we go. All right, a little shape of our... Tree. You're going to add a little bit of brown, just doing it with the fan brush. Pulling it down into the front of the house, right? And we can always put it back on that line back there. And now let's do 
get our, our pint thinner or, you know, low odor mineral spirits into the brown over here and come up. We can do all sorts of craziness with this tree. Put a big bunch of stuff on it. Right? All sorts of things happening with that whole thing. And then, see how we pull them out? We can push them back, get them closer to the house back here. <laughs> Tony Vickers is dead. The trees are dead. Yeah. All That's the trees cool tree. are dead. All the trees are dead. All the trees are dead. All the trees are dead. And the sky is gray. All right. I didn't yeah, because there's a tornado outside. And it's not That's a summer's cool. day. Should we put, you know, foliage around the guy or no? I don't think so. Have him be nice and bare. Nice and bare. I want to try something we haven't done before. So we're going to mix a little bit of the liquid white in with the uh, dark sienna, the lighter color browns. Just so it's a lighter color brown than that. And then let's try to make like a very tiny. Facebook sucks. This iPad rope. needs to go in the trash. <clears throat> very tiny little rope swing off the end of this guy. Because right, why not? My little rope's hanging down. Which means I have to get rid of this branch that's right here. There we go. Otherwise our... Uh, our little swinger would get hit. There we go. All right, let's take a little bit more of the mineral spheres just so we get it nice and easy to work with and thin, nice and thin. You want it to be runny like water or ink, very runny. You only really want the stuff to stick to your, your, you know, brush. Let's see. You can always adjust. Not like it. Look like a rope oh, or like that's a tire super swing. Cute. There's 14 people oh, watching on YouTube. Oh wow! Welcome, guys. Welcome to anyone who hasn't been here before. Is anybody new? We don't seem to ask this question often. But... Yeah, if you're new, please. Yeah, tell you know, us that you're new. Please. Yeah, write it in the comments. Yeah, otherwise, we don't know. That looks kind of cool. Very dark and stormy. Very dark. Okay. Let's get a little bit more of the kind of greener grass. All right, because so we have these little differences is all we need. Different colors, different stuff. Not differences in color, babe. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Differences wow. in color. All right, we're going to mix up the blue, black, crimson, the green, the brown, all this stuff. Right, not all the brown. Maybe some of the yellow. Mix it all up into this gross color, but we just want a lot because I want to try to do these power poles and uh, see what those look like. And we need a fair amount to start. So we'll get our brush, our uh, old dirty fan brush. Got this dark color. Tanya it's just a shadow. She loves the swing. It's yeah, thank cute. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very cute. Let's do it over here, right? So in my mind, it's going to be one of the closest things. So it's got to be thick, thicker than anyway. And it's got to be pretty straight. Is that straight? Because I'm on an angle. I can't tell. It's pretty darn straight. Straight enough. Yep. There we go. And now, right, we have the top. The sides, but how do you do the sides and make them look not like that? Because it's pretty much just you know they're we're looking at them straight on. Sort of, kind of, not really. This book is awful. It's just freezing nonstop. Okay, that's the power pole. Ah. This doesn't look like one yet. But it will. Yeah. We hope anyway. We hope it will. 
bit of brown on there just to get our wood color right. There we go. Now if we string some, you know, bits from there and make it look a little more, you know, it's just hard to get that, like, is it sitting this way or is it sitting this way? That's the thing. That's the thing, jelly beans. Right? Hang nice and straight. Roberta Harris is over here on YouTube. What up, guys? Is Facebook just being dumb? Yeah. No, oh, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now, oh, the power poles always have some weird kind of like little bits sticking on the top, like little coils and stuff. Little coils and different things that hold all the wires together, right? They look like little birds sitting up there. That's funny. That's funny. I'm not sure that I like it that much though. And I definitely don't want to string it across and ruin that whole sky. So now it's like, Josh, what are we going to do over here? How are we going to get rid of that, right? And that's a good question, guys. That's a good question. John Krasniak says, adding little climbing pegs may help distinguish it. It's a power pole. Right. But then it's like, you know, we're on a smaller canvas. So even the smallest little lines, and then my power pole lines are going to be all jacked up. So we'll figure something else out. We'll figure something Just else out. Just down them. Huh? Just down them. Well, this was the one that I was going to crack in half, and now it's already there. So we'll see what it looks like. We'll see if we can do some surgery. Right? And if not, then we'll put a, another big tree right here or something. Let's see if we can't take off... The majority of that paint, right? Scrape it all off. And then, all we really got to do is work it into the sky until it goes away. <clears throat> right? Poof, it's almost there. Almost gone. bit of white and poof there he goes okay we're gonna make this into a fence I like that a better idea and it's a better idea I can just get some of that to go away all right I hope I hope you guys like somebody once said that they liked that I showed you know how we made mistakes and then how to cover and fix them, you know, on the fly versus someone who just does this perfect tutorial and they never show you how to fix anything you messed up. There we go. All we gotta do is work it until it goes away, okay? That's really it. <laughs> That's magical. What? Well, I looked down and I looked up and they look very different now. And it's gone? Yeah. There we go. Alright, that's our farther away bit. Leading back there. Now we'll come back in with our green. Right? And because we scraped away and tried to wipe away all of the heavy bits of the paint, then it's much easier to come back in and get these to stick. Boom. Just like that. And now we can come back in, this whole thing's gone. You see that? Did anyone see that, that magic trick I pulled? That, that takes guts right there to do that and then make it disappear, okay? As a tutorialist, that takes guts. All right, let's mix in a little bit more black into our, our little fence mixture. We're, now we're gonna pop a fence in here, okay? So again, it's gotta be pretty tall, at least, at least halfway up the house. Because we're, uh, we're down here. All right, so if we're going to do that, we could do one off to the side. All right, just by pulling it over. That's about halfway up the house. So that's about where we want it. Okay, and this will be one of those long fences with the 
thing. And all these should be about the same size because we're looking at it straight. It's not a, they're not going off into the distance, right? But you have to cover over what's behind it. You don't want to have your fence so small that it looks like now you're up on top looking down at everything. That's not what you want to do. Oh, this one's going to cut it close right on the Right over, just over almost on the uh, tire swing. It's kind of cool. And you never worry about what's below. You can always take it, make it go away again. See, there's really nothing we can't do, guys. There's nothing we can't do. There we go. I don't want to have these too thick. Right? They don't need to be super thick. Maybe we can have a bit it's just the opening of the driveway maybe that's the opening of the driveway so what if we did did a fence door that come out like that and it would swing closed okay it's in my head and we know when it's in my head we have to do it see it doesn't matter what's behind the thing we could we still know there's a house back there all right just because we covered over our door doesn't mean that there's not a house back there but you have to cover over stuff you got to man those are all pretty evenly spaced josh way to go pal well thanks josh you know we're only doing this for the first time ever and uh everyone's watching right yep all right now these in my mind would be a wood fence, don't you think? Yeah. Like, we could even do crisscross bits. Like that. Ooh, that might look cool. That might look cool, guys. Do the crisscross or do we do them straight across? No one knows. I'm waiting for an answer, guys. While well, London updates products. Oh, well, I wasn't uploading products. I was watching a... An idea for dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, what are we having? Um, Alright, we're gonna make up some wood color, guys, while London tells me what we're having for dinner. <laughs> Brown and white. John Krasniak says, you built a nice fence, Josh. You would make a great ranch hand. Yes, <laughs> There we go. Alright, mixing up the brown, leaving all these differences in there. Look at all those different colors. It's beautiful. Oh, isn't that just so precious, guys? All these colors. So we take street tacos, the little tacos, and we slice them. Let's do... Hello. Yes, I'm listening. We slice them, and then we deep fry them, right? And then on top of that, we put beef and onions and taco seasoning and cheese and make nachos, but with tortilla strips. Nachos for dinner, though. I don't want to sound like Dad or nothing. <laughs> but nachos for dinner. I don't know. I'm not a nachos for dinner type of guy. <laughs> it's fine then. You can. <laughs> I can. I can starve to death is what I can do. All right. Well, we got a little bit crazy with these, but that's okay. You can not choose something else. All right. No, why my knife? There's something back here. I bet. Oh yeah, it's this stupid thing that's not doing its job. Caused my knife to hit in different places back here. But it's all right. It's a little darker, it's okay. We can pretend there's something back there. Let's finish these off. If Facebook is sucking, please come over to YouTube. Yeah. And that is working remarkably, which just proves that it's the iPad that's- Yeah, it's my device that I'm using. So sorry guys, if you know, if I could get like Seventeen hundred dollars in sales today. I'll go out and buy a new iPad, <laughs> and then I can stream well to both places. But it's got to be all in one day. There we go. That's not bad. It's gotten a little it's bit messy, but it's not bad. You can't cover your pie swing. I'm gonna have to go across it. What if the top post was removed? Now, let me try to shape these guys with the with the filbert eraser, the good old filbert eraser. As long as you don't have too much paint on the 
It's 11 a.m. in case you wonder. <laughs> on top, is it? Yes. What does that mean? I don't know. I, my phone was set for 11 a.m. when we went to Halloween, and I've never turned it off. Oh. You've had it on there for that long? Yeah. There we go. That's all right. We can fix that, guys. Okay. Now, let's mix up. I want to maybe do the opening to the... The thing in here, maybe it doesn't have an opening. Who knows what we're gonna do? Let's see what this looks like anyway. And I come across the top of it, leaving the bottom shadow, right? That's why we make the shadow initially, so you don't have to cover the whole thing. Start at the top of the shadow, pull down a little bit to meet it, right? Start at the top, pull down a little bit to meet the shadow. You don't cover the whole thing. If you cover it all, then it's not a piece of wood anymore. It has no depth. Take this guy, just the side, right? Just the side, you don't need a whole lot. Come back, grab some more. Go back in, just pull over, leaving half of it. You don't have to cover everything. That is the weirdest, chunkiest looking piece of wood I've ever seen. I've got to be honest, it's probably the best fence you've ever painted in your life. Oh yeah, thanks babe. You need to have some dark underneath it though. Can't all be the same. All right, let's come over here. Should we do another? Should we do the crisscross fence? Yeah, let's but not over fence. the. Just. It, okay, then that one we'll just do this side. Yeah, that one was removed. Okay, just pulling slightly, so I can kind of create this little beam, right? This messy little beam. Then we're gonna come back in over the top, and then pull down to meet the beam. Not trying to cover the whole shadow. Just trying to get it down there. See? And then you have, whoa! Did you see that? I said, then you have, and I threw the knife up, and it's covered in paint. But I caught it somehow. Magical. It was uh, magical. John Krasniak would like to know if uh, we can get a London candle in the window of the barn. <laughs> oh, way over mm -hmm. there? Uh-huh. Okay, then well, I'm going to take my knife and do like a little... Poof, there you go, there's Perfect. Lonnie's candle. Perfect. It's amazing back in there. <laughs> All right, let's do this side. Just kind of slide it. You have to have enough paint on your knife, that's for sure. So get a fair amount on your knife so you have something to pull and manipulate. That looks cool. Scoop up a bit. And then lay it down. This is totally different from what we had planned on painting. Right? We did not plan on on doing this. It's not even close to what I like that, you know, we I could try to do on an a on a small angle a bit of fence that would like swing open and close, but I don't know. We could say these people aren't very uh like this, babe. Look. <clears throat> They're not very they don't they don't want visitors. Babe, right here. Look. Hold on. What's up? Right here. Please. If you put another piece prospectively right here. Yeah. And like this and like this, it would look like the gate is open. So there. Yeah. Yep. But not all the way down like before. Right. Or at least there's another bit like that. Yep. It's actually. And then you just do the. It needs to be higher. It needs to be higher. What does. Because if the gate's going to open like that, you're going to have diagonal lines, yeah, not that's, straight lines. Right, that's, what I was, that's what I had thought. That's what I had thought. All right, let's see. So you're saying this bit you need to get rid of. Yes. We're just tapping it, and tapping it, and tapping it until it's gone. 
from our view. And it doesn't matter if it gets blurry back there because we're going to put something else in front of it. Make up our wood color again because we never make enough. Like that, huh? Yes, babe. Are you sure? <laughs> right, it, it, I told you the post needs to be higher. I made the post higher. It's higher than the rest of them. It can't be too much higher. It needs to come off the top of the post where the other wooden chunk is. What are you talking about? Come in here and point. No, I'm not coming in there and pointing. Right, right. Here, well, babe. now it's here. Right, babe, right here. It just needs to meet this post. So <sighs> that. Facebook sucks. Like this? Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Much better. Well, then this bottom piece can't be there. Why? Because if it's going to swing open, it's not going to have a leg right here. Right? Just make the bottom piece of wood thicker so that it makes a solid gate. That looks perfect, babe. Let's see. Let's see, what are we going to do? Try to scrape up all this paint so it's not so much to blend out, right? We're getting into some tight spaces here. So you mean like this. Yep, that looks amazing. Okay. Okie dokie, smoky. All right, let's do a little bit. Just half of the wood, remember. Doesn't have to be all of it. Just half. Looks good. On this side. And we got our little swinging gate. Oh, we know. Do you want to do a smaller cross inside the gate? Like this? Wait, I have to do these first. I got this color on my brush, now I gotta do it. It's a knife. Knife, brush, same thing. <laughs> same thing, jelly beans, there we go. Hey babe, what's the goal for this year? Um, to make amazing content for everybody. No? No? Can you tell us the goal? Bailey, what are you doing in here? With your whisperings. Sorry, we're trying not to be loud. Your secret whisperings. I like that. We need to make, uh, need to make it look like it's continuing, though. Here we go. A little bit more brown. And we're continued off the edge. Very messy. Very messy. We have to go off that side too. There we are. It's kind of cool, babe. Yeah, it's dope. What's everyone else say? They they agree. They agree. Kay Campbell says, "I'm here for a short period of time." Sorry, right, Kay. Welcome, Kay. Sucks, so there we go. If you want to be here for a long period of time, you need to go to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. Just trying to add a little bit of dark in and underneath here to hopefully give the idea that there's like some shadow underneath the fence, maybe. Yep. Bit. Okay, Bailey, what are you doing in here? Why is it heating on? Can someone go turn the heating off, please? Sure. We live in Las Vegas. We don't need heat. Well, I, 
I'm not happy with this. Not happy with what? There we go. Why? Yeah, it looks beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's see, guys. Scrape in some sticks and twigs into a little bit of grass growing in here. Off the side of the road, kind of covering our, our little yes, bit of fence. Tanya says love the fence, so that. There we go. Always get the grass growing. And I'm gonna take some edge. credit for that fence, because it's cool. It's London's fence. Just like that, we lost a bit of our road color. Hey, I said it to you earlier, but you weren't paying any attention. I extended the 50% sale on my website till Friday. So everyone go over to London's website, uh, the LondonCandleCompany.com. That's kind of cool. Almost looks like there's a path that went out behind, maybe. Tell them about your website, babe. Yeah, go to the LondonCandleCompany.com and buy candles. I've put up a whole bunch of new products. I have a 50% off sale. You can sign up for reoccurring deliveries. Oh yeah, that's true. So like if you want to get candles every month, now you have the ability to Yeah, you do, do just that. sign up and do that. Um, it's like a membership type deal. Yeah. That's cool. So you do that, you can also do that with the scoopies that I have. The, the scoopies! Melts. I love the scoopies. I just love that word, scoopies. Scoopies. So we've got little teddy bears, little PlayStation controllers, leaves. There we go. I like Legos. that, guys. Puzzles. There's so much on London's website. Yeah, so you can go over there and see any so of the much. items that are homemade. I homemade, out, women made. Ship out right away. Uh, if it is a drop ship item, like an item of clothing or a necklace or a piece of jewelry that is conducted by somebody else delivering that. Yeah, same as same as my prints, right? You buy a print and then the company does it. It's not me. So some of the stuff on London's site you can buy and a company will send it out to you. And that takes a few days longer, yeah. right? Yeah. Versus when you do it yourself. All right, almost got all these brushes clean. What do you guys think? I like it. I like my little rope swing. Yeah, the rope swing is the best. And we had intended on painting a desert, mountainy landscape off the side of a, of a road. And this is what came out. So you don't have to always just do what you thought you were going to do, right? You can kind of go off plan and, and go crazy and just kind of see where you end up on something that we did Facebook today. Facebook is horrible. I think the worst thing about Facebook is the fact that it's freezing, but when it freezes, it doesn't tell me it's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> So there's, I, I can't tell by watching on here. It's strange, we had, we, we took precautions. Oh, Laura Krasniak's here. Laura. We took uh, precautions to make sure that the Wi-Fi capability was gonna be at its highest. Yeah, we kicked every member of the family off the internet. True, except we for the phones that are broadcasting. Yeah, we disconnected the TVs. All right. Now, this was a good painting, guys. I'm, I, again, I'm glad we did this to show you that you don't have to paint what you were going to paint. And if you try something new or if something happens and your, your sky looks at just a certain way, that causes you to change your entire idea and go a totally different direction and end up somewhere awesome. So, you don't always have to follow your own guidelines, right? I love that sky. Yeah, me too. Very cool looking, very cool. Almost need to get like a little bit more of the yellow color in there. There we go. There we go. It's like a little grassy path. Kind of neat. All right. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. Of course, we're going to have a brand new video out on Wednesday. It looks like this hey, igloo scene right here. Yes. Did no bugs. Oh yeah, we got to we got to sign it and everything too. But yeah, we have a brand new brand new video coming out Wednesday. It's a little hidden igloo scene. It's very cool and uh, very easy to do. Made it look hard. This was actually harder to do than that. So, if this seems easy for you, that's going to be just awesome. It's going to be Facebook great. Facebook sucks. So, if you're experiencing freezing issues on Facebook, uh, go over to my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash c slash paint with Josh. The C means stands for channel. All right, let's see. These birds are. Oh man, that bird just got gigantic. 
because my thing slipped. There we go. They're much bigger and more, <laughs> more in frame today. So this is when we went to wherever this is, and we flew over a tornado, right? Because this is the only way that me, my wife, and my daughter get to travel. And my daughter's like, Dad, can we actually go somewhere? Nope. I mean, nah. Uh, Especially nowhere near a tornado. No, I don't want to go anywhere over there. Here we go, throw our signature in on this guy. And we're all done, folks. That's all, folks. So I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Uh, in 2021, we had almost 600,000 minutes, which means that you guys were watching every minute of every day, every second, and I really appreciate that. When I, when I saw that stat, it blew my mind how crazy just those numbers are. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you for that. We've got new videos coming out. We do two videos a week, so if you're new, you know, we do these Sunday videos where it's very much a, a wide shot, and then during the Wednesday videos, it zooms in on the details, and I show you what my brush does and all that stuff. So... Check those out. Any video that says live is going to be a wide shot. Any video that doesn't is going to be a zoomed in, not fully zoomed in all the time, but when I zoom in on details. So check those out. Check out London's website, thelondoncandlecompany.com. Go to paintwithjosh.com. Go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And the more you guys support us, the more canvases I can buy and the more free videos we can keep bringing to you. And I don't bring you any videos, but... But she brings smells to your, yeah. to your nosy. And if I'm poor, I might not come up the stairs. To participate on a Sunday. Ah, true. <laughs> there we go. Just adding my little bit of green color back behind on the sides. That way, you got to finish the edges because you could be looking at it and see like a little mini scene on the side, and that'll catch your eye, make you make you want to turn around and see what's there. It's like a really dark spot right here in the clouds. There we go. All right. Man, that got a lot of paint on the brush. All right, guys, well, go to the LondonCandleCompany.com, remember. London's trying to get her business started. Please, please. Get it off the ground. Please. She's got deals going on right now. So, TheLondonCandleCompany.com. And you will save 50% if you use code Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year is the promo code to save 50% off. You are crazy, babe. You're giving them away. I know, right? All right, we're going to clean up all this mess. Uh, besides that, you guys can always get all of your art supplies and your painting stuff, or if you like my easel, or if you want to, you know, get a certain brush that I use, or the palette that I have, or whatever. I have all this stuff listed on my Amazon affiliate shop, which is amazon.com slash shop slash happy landscape art, okay? And that way you can get anything. If, even if you want to go get some dryer sheets, right? Click on my link and then go buy dryer sheets and I'll still make a couple pennies. So thank you for that. In advance. Rip that down. Clean her up today. What else we got to talk about, babe? Anything else? For the fine people. Hey, Laura Kresniak said London's candles smell awesome. Thanks, Laura. Hey. See? And if you did buy a candle from me or have bought a candle, please could you go over to Facebook and post a review on my page. Oh, yeah. No one has ever written a review on my Paint With Josh page. Do you know that? I have zero reviews. Yeah, and like 4,000 followers. So. Yeah, but like zero reviews. Like no one even cares enough to write anything about But if about you go on Etsy, there's... Hundreds of reviews about your products. Well, like 110. Right. Yeah. Hundreds. Hundreds. No, just one. Bill, Bill Emery says, what do you do with your paint, with your leftover paint? Uh, I'm just about to show you. So I try to clean up the areas that I've used, right? So it doesn't get real hard and stuck on there. Because I'll most likely be painting again within the next few days. And that way I don't want to throw away all these bits that we haven't touched. We'll have to add more of these, obviously. I could even scrape all that up and just add new paint to it, right? And just fix that part for next time. But I have so much of the phthalo green left that I don't want to, oh, hang on. Oh, that was way too much. Oh man, I don't want to uh, throw away all this paint because it's a lot, you know what I mean? That's a good, I mean, that's enough for a whole nother painting. This came from another painting that I did uh, that igloo one. So a lot of times the paint will just sit on my palette until I either decide I'm done and I scrape it all off 
or there's not enough left to save, and then I'll scrape it all off. There we go. But just try to keep it from getting too, you know, that when you when you start to pull the paint out and get it onto your brush and it becomes very, very flat like that, it dries super easily and then it becomes hard to get off of my palette. So at least I try to get those bits and just leave the chunky, thick, wet parts of paint. And then as long as I can do this and get the, you know, majority of the paint off of the palette, by the time all this is dry and then I do it again, I won't have to fight through so many layers, right? That's the key. But until then, you know, we'll call it done. Did I, yeah, I put the signature, I got the birds. Looks really cool. Uh, Bill says, do you cover it? The cover. You leave on your palette. No, I just leave it. I just leave it. I leave it just like that, however it is. And then if I come back and it's all too hard, I scrape it off and add new stuff. And uh, if not, then I can kind of pull it out, get rid of the skin that's on top, and keep using it. And then most of the time, if it's got a skin on it, I'm throwing away a good amount of paint with that skin, so I'll have to add more paint anyway. But, you know, it's usually, I usually paint on Saturdays for Wednesday and then Sunday for you guys. So that's why we did this one last night. And that's why I have leftover paint. But I try to keep my palette clean. Uh, I hate it when it gets too, I like the color when it gets too dirty, but the smoothness isn't there. So my knife doesn't load the same and you get all these bits. You can't mix stuff. So I try to keep it clean when I can. Mm. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, check out all of our stores, paintwithjosh.com, thelondoncandlecompany.com. Uh, and, you know, we're ready for a great 2022. So I'm happy that you spent this much time with me already this year just watching uh, this video. So besides that, you want to get ready to hit the buttons, babe? Yeah. Thank you for the necklace, Tanya. We do accept gifts at Paint With Josh from our fans. This yep. is lovely. Uh, but go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Happy Landscape Art to get all of your art supplies, canvases, paint, brushes, all the stuff that I use, you can get as well. And uh, until Wednesday, I'll see you then. And we'll be doing this beautiful painting right here. But until then, uh, we'll see you Wednesday. And then London and I will see you again next Sunday yes. uh, for another live. And maybe this time I'll make a Facebook event for it because I keep forgetting to make events. And if you go on my if you go on my shop and you buy a candle, I will send you a candle in there for you. will get a thank you note from me. So it's very no, true. No shush to the missus. Yeah. Go shop London's Candle Store, guys. London Candle, the London Candle Company .com. And I will be bringing out reed diffusers and wickless flameless candles in January. Mm. Okay, that's it. So this month, yeah. wickless flameless candles. Sweet. That look awesome. So, Bye. All right. We'll see you guys later. Take <laughs> care. Have a good day. Bow. We'll see you later. Boom. Right for 2022.